See how these trees are anchored to the earth? See how blithely the exchanges of their leaves with the wind, the currents, and the seasons of this thing we call life. A tree that mourns not for the living or the dead and will not mourn for me. Should I lay my body beneath them to be interred to the same forces which had nourished my every organ and voice in this world. A nourishment across, we might argue, every bound of life and death and every succession of spring, of dawn, of dusk. And, as the, and of the forever transforming constellations of human relationship, sucker, contemplation, and growth. astronomical spasms of earth and sky, star and tide, of the stirring currents and in some ineffable substance through which this world moves. Whence that harbor, whence we need on more, no more. Herman Melville once wrote, Where is the foundling's father hidden? Our souls were like those orphans whose unwedded mothers died in giving birth to them. And the secret of opportunity lay in their grave and we should there find it. Our ancestors. The greatest education you can get is to confront the greatest purpose, arguably, of the education system, as it were. and its inestimable influence upon every organ of human cellular and social communication, to answer that challenge, indeed the greatest cha possible challenge to your native faculties of relationship to your whole environment. By birth and by no other oath, creed, or science, most of which are, for all their utility or legitimacy, glorified uber-religious orthodoxies, administered under the power of all surviving human industry. We say it's heroic, you know, to go to work for our children to go to war for them. But these occupations, I think, are more safe routes than the comparable challenge of remaining, of anchoring, of rooting. Our every consideration for our unborn children in the roots of our birth 
and of our voice and every organ of our voice played among all the reaches of heaven and earth. And indeed the mutually contingent relationship of our realization and transformation as symbolized, I believe, by the sign of our roots not only in the trunk of our body but also in the spunk of our body and in the glands of our brain as they peer forever peer into the faces of our ancestors robed and enraptured robed and enraptured by every span of earth and sky of every horizon of the threshold of mind and matter wholly contingent upon one another of a god and of a child of a male and female profanity and divinity wholly contingent upon one another. And this, to me, is all that can gird the most equitable relationships that we would enjoy, rather in spite of every exchange vaunted as indispensable by this world than because of them. And so I serve them not. I take a little bit from those who have taken everything from my family. And I do so with vigor. Hail Satan! Hail the Great Mother! And blessed be.